first, thank you so much for being part of the Data Sphere Initiative journey. We are more inspired than ever to connect individuals and organizations working on data governance. In 2022, we set out on a bold mission to build agile frameworks that responsibly unlock the value of data for all. Following our launch at the G7 Multi-Stakeholder Conference in Berlin, we incorporated as a not-for-profit in Switzerland and appointed three board members for our board of trustees. We welcomed funding from a range of actors and we set out on an ambitious work plan that resonated with our community and network. On the occasion of our first birthday, I'm happy to report on our progress so far. Please stay tuned throughout the coming weeks for more updates and announcements. And here's an overview of the work so far. We set out to design and catalyze more nuanced and holistic dialogues on data. In over 40 events, we helped frame the debates around data and the governance of the data sphere. As part of our efforts to gather actionable evidence on innovative practices and understand the data governance ecosystem better, we launched the Data Sphere Governance Atlas, providing a mapping of over 260 organizations and translating knowledge across silos. We also brought together an amazing cohort of eight fellows from eight different countries who developed numerous outcomes on framing key data policy issues across sectors and geographies. The second cohort of fellows was launched in October 2022. And to understand and frame the concept of the data sphere and how it can be useful for framing policy approaches to data, we are also able to publish a literature review on data governance, a Wikipedia article, and a framing paper on the concept of the data sphere. And another key aspect of our ambition was to create collective spaces to showcase and experiment with innovations in governance frameworks and technical solutions to advance the vision of a data sphere for all. We launched the report Sandboxes for Data to examine this model of experimentation, what it could stand for, and also how it could offer solutions for complex data challenges. As part of the Global Forum on Sandboxes for Data, the Data Sphere Initiative is launching a region-wide effort in Africa to spur the development and implementation of data governance frameworks that are innovative and can function across borders in the continent. But at the core of what we do and why 2022 has been so much fun was because we got to know and partner with amazing organizations working on data governance and who know the deep and relevant impact of data on society and economies. In 2022, we built partners and collaborated with a range of organizations and initiatives, and here are just some examples of them. The Datastore Initiative is building a large, diverse community touching on all areas and aspects of how we can responsibly unlock the value of data for all. So who's the team behind the Datastore Initiative? I asked them their highlights uh, of the Datastore Initiative so far, and this is what they said. We have individuals from over nine countries coming together to celebrate our mission statement. Exchanging ideas, knowledge, talking about how we can frame the myriad of policy and societal issues. To see the very encouraging response of people regarding the concept of responsibly unlocking the value of that apple. It's incredible to see how much of um, a community there is out there for us to engage and bring in power realizing but also experiencing the power of social media to convene actors and work together towards a common goal. Getting to work with the amazing cohort of fellows of the Datasphere Fellowship. It's incredible team and be able to collaborate with everyone. Now we can now um, be most impactful with the resources, with the ideas that we have.